welcome back to Oni Camel Gaming. This is your host, Acidic, and I am doing part five of Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And uh, I'm trying to do this as clean as possible. I, I've attempted this several times. I've even re-recorded this several times. Going for a suit-only silent assassin run. But this is a long level. And, uh... Man, it, it wore my patience down earlier, so I'm, I'm starting it all over from scratch, fresh recording, and I'm taking you all with me. So all I'm going to do uh, real quick is head down this hall. I'm going to wait for these guys to stop and turn around. Alright, we'll follow him back, but we got to hug the right side. I got spotted hugging the left side trying to use the change cover system on the pillar. It doesn't work the way uh, you would assume. And we want to go over here and get this checkpoint. That's just a couple seconds that it, it saves us. Uh, but every couple seconds starts to matter <laughs> when you've been playing this game for a long time under trial and error conditions. We got a pretty good synchronicity here on our guards. I want the guard with the shotgun and the guard who cuts down the courtyard to end up over on the left side by the pillars around the same time. So it's a little easier to sneak down to the exit. Because um, I have to go through the pillars to get there. But anyway. Things are working out. Yeah, this gave me a lot of trouble earlier, but this is a pretty good... RNG basically. As long as this guy doesn't turn around, I should be okay. I may have come here a little soon. Now he's gonna smoke a cigarette and then he's gonna go behind the pillars. The guy with the shotgun's well on his way out of out of my being uh, out from being a problem for me. Um, the guy who hangs out at the pillars is on his way back, so we just have another cycle of waiting. And if everything goes clean and smooth, we should rack up 8,000 points. But it didn't go clean and smooth at all. You can use the bottle to your benefit. Y'all, I don't think I care about doing the suit only anymore. <laughs> I don't think I do. I think I'm ready to just do some, just make some make some heat in this, get it over with. I know I gotta contend with the guy with the shotgun coming down right now, but I I had to take a chance, or I'll just be here forever, so. Here he comes. Right, you can turn around now, I'd like that. Before your buddy does. I didn't know if that was going to happen. <laughs> I was getting a little dicey there for a second. Get through the door. Alright, so this next section isn't too terribly difficult, but um, getting out is kind of a sick, sticky situation. Um, so this first part, really easy. All we got to do is go over here to the girl, girl, girl sign, find this ledge and climb up on it and no one will look up here once we're on the ledge but if you enter a hanging mode um, you can get noticed that way all right so we're gonna pop in this window grab the evidence there's a lot of evidence in the stage it's a very long stage for this mission it's a very long mission the stage isn't so bad and then we're gonna pick up the silencer and we uh, also Oh yeah, the key card. The key card is uh, crucial to our plan. We already have a bottle, but if you don't have a bottle, you can just pick up pick up one out of this uh, staircase. And we're gonna bang a left real quick, and when we go around the bend here, Birdie will chime in and let us know some things about the mission. The music's real loud right now. That guy's the target. He's gonna go to. Get a lap dance, 
um, over there. Then he's going to take a he's a, use the restroom over there. And then when he's done with all that, he'll co go over here. And it takes him like a real long time to do all of this. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll cut back. The guard back here is turning away, so I'm just gonna hop in this little crate real quick. And, and then I'm just gonna wait and watch. Watch and wait for my target to get close, really close. Uh, right now, he's heading to get his lap dance. So, we'll be back in a minute. All right, so the target is finally on his way from the restroom, and I notice that the guard's coming in, so it should be pretty good timing. By the time the guard turns around, I can get out of the crate and the target should still be in position. Got him. Now I'm just gonna hang out in here until everything calms down. A couple NPCs walked in, that happens sometimes, I don't really know why. Now that we got him, the next thing I want to do is head over to the checkpoint. Maybe after everything calms down. But right now we're up to the Silent Assassin. So, you know, if we don't do anything goofy, we won't lose it. I wonder where that guard is. Because this might be a good time to get out. Alright, I don't think anyone spotted me. <laughs> pretty quick, uh, pretty chaotic in here. All right, now I'm gonna hit this checkpoint, and our next order of business is to get up the stairs. But there's kind of like a guy in the way, so yeah. Let's see what I can do. Just the one guy. There's usually like two guys in here. Or a guard and a, a girl. A guard and a dancer. Oh, just barely, but I made it. Just barely, but I made it. All right. This is awesome. It's finally coming along. All right, so we got Silent Assassin at the Vixen, and it's gonna drop all of our points again. I don't understand how the points really work in this game. So anyway, we are now here. The scripting in this room is a lot easier to get along with than the RNG scripting that goes on outside. I'm just waiting for the guy on the right to go upstairs. He'll take a staircase near the uh, back of this place. Um, that's a lot easier to uh, reach the exit from. Uh, the way I was doing it was going around this pool table and going up the staircase basically opposite on the opposite end of me and uh, that wasn't very... I mean it, it works but it's a lot harder. So I'm gonna pick up this bottle, change cover, Gets a little dangerous when you're trying to change cover. If you want to listen to the ladies, they have conversations about some bleak things that are really terrible. But um, I just kind of want to get out of here. So we're following this guy up, and we're going to stop at the corner because he'll turn around. He and his partner will now work this way. And he'll complete a circle around the facility, around the top floor, and then go back down to the bottom floor on his other staircase. And this guy starts. When he gets back into the position that he was in, I'm going to use some line of sight stealth to keep him from seeing me. And I'll turn his head. I thought it was going to turn his head. It didn't work out so well. Alright, the safe is open. Uh, you can look in the safe, but nothing pertinent happens until the cutscene is done. So you got to do the cutscene. You can tell for. Um, environmental storytelling that somebody wanna get out of here fast because all the files are gone. At least a lot of them are. So, let's see what this this has going on for us. Guys, wait. I see some boys. To grab that guy you call Birdie. He really is working with the hitman. We need his wings clipped now. Call me back when you got a knock on that girl. 
Dom was searching for Victoria. I got to him just in time. Good for you, huh? Kudos. He was on to you as well. A man is coming. A man named Wade. That guy's crazier than a shithouse rat. You need to get your ass over here right away, because this is about to get very loud and very messy. I have to call you back. All right, this section can also be a little tough. But, <clears throat> got stuck on the sink. But luckily there are a few surefire ways to get through this without too much trouble. That's pretty loud. This part could be a little tricky too. But hopefully I don't mess nothing up. This can be a little RNG too, but hopefully everything works out. So just gonna switch cover and honestly get in here and wait. Just wait. So this will be a situation. Yep, so he's gonna check the debris. Gotta wait on him and check the debris. Wait on him and check something else. I'll come back. He also hangs out here for a second. But at, after he's out of the way, my main guy, I gotta worry about after this point, is on the top of the stairs. Hopefully that's where he is. He's on his way up. That's even better. I'm gonna use this bottle. Full of distract a haul. actually pretty easy to get to the next checkpoint pretty pretty gravy you shouldn't have any problems here set the board there seems kind of dangerous and uh, yeah I, I don't take the ground I take the ledge just need to wait for the gentleman to come back there's a gentleman inside here he likes to smoke a cigarette and 
look out the window from time to time. Alright. I only have the time it takes for him to smoke a cigarette, so we gotta go. Alright, this next part could be a little sticky, but usually it's not too bad. Alright, uh, last time I actually didn't hit record and then I accidentally exited the level, so we're back. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to show you a quick way to get this convenience store over with and done and not have to use an alternate uniform to get really close to spot you there, but they won't. We gotta get back to the fireworks and set those off. We'll move soon, we can move safely. Here we go. Oh, we'll just get back to that sto uh, storage room behind the counter. Let the room fill up. the guy I've been waiting on. He'll stand right here in the front of the door, so you don't want to just rush out after he set off the fireworks. I'm going to get a bottle from over here. So there's this dude that comes right in front of the door. You don't want to go immediately. Just wait a second. Well, once this guy's out of your way, you can go kind of fast over here, just not too fast. You'll know. You'll see the people in front of you and Just gotta wait for him to turn around in the smoke. Got it up here real fast, we'll have to wait. Evidence, come on. And let's get it out the door. Set it on beyond. All right, we're finally getting through this door. This section here is tough. I don't know if I can even do this. I might, I might give up the suit only run. I might even for, forget about Silent Assassin. and I, I just want to beat this level. And I've been stuck here for a minute. This guy thinks he's Batman.
Well, this ain't gonna work. I got like one more Ting Tao. I don't know how I want to do this. Unless. Is there any other way to get through this? This sucks. I hate this part. Fuck. I think it was on to something for a second. That's it. Okay. Make sense for them to follow me for the next three blocks because I left a trail of corpses. And uh, honestly, I'm so sick of this damn level, I'm ready to leave a trail of corpses. I'll practice this game some more and try to figure it out, but honestly, this isn't the kind of game that's worth that. <laughs> I might even knock it down to easy mode. I don't, I don't care to play it on hard. Oh, shit, they're here. Three weights, guys, in the crowd asking questions. Birdie, focus. Don't do anything foolish. I will take care of this. Cool thing is, we're back in Chinatown. It's a level I like, but the ante has been raised because I got three targets to eliminate, and the cops are looking for me. I guess I'll take the one in the yellow blazer first. You can use the first person, well, the third person thing to, like, walk sideways. It'll hide your face. Since the cops are looking for you. Or us. Of course, it would get difficult with the restricted area situation. Hostile area, huh? Yeah, that's where that car was before, wasn't it? I think you gotta beat the guy there, and it'll work better. But I didn't do that. Oh. They start their whole routine over, so now I can beat the guy here. The way checkpoints work in this game, it's a little... 
cheaty, I guess. Drop down. Yeah, I'll always take a bottle. All right, let's see what we can do on Chinese New Year. Here comes the one. The one I'm looking for. If I was to say turn, you would respond, what? Uh, you want roasted duck? Wrong answer. <laughs> okay, asshole. Here we go. What? Ah, uh, no. Pop the battery. And... Save this guy's life. I kind of feel like an angel. An angel of death, but an angel. Alright. I don't know if there's another checkpoint in this level, so I hope I didn't squander the only one. There he is. Where are you? This plane on to go to. He's on the pavilion. Like the king. Okay. Last target, way over yonder. Huh. I'll get through however I can.
So I took out the second guy and I went in that room where he was talking to the cop and it I got an idea <laughs> about the last guy. I got an idea. And yeah, you can just come back here and load up on all their stuff. And then I don't know, take off I guess. Being guarded pretty well from the outside. Alright, let's get out of here. And go take care of that final fella. But yeah, I got an idea. As long as I can operate more or less without any problems, everything should be okay. I can get to that, maybe. All right. Still got some silent assassin somehow. I use that. All right, Chief Wickham. I did it. I actually got silent assassin on that, even though I went murdering. Oh, I owe this guy a coffee. least three of them. He left with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> 
Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. I, uh, I guess you don't need the bird poop on the coat to tell you that he's a shitty person. But, he is. Hey, cool. Better running speed. That's actually useful. <laughs> Alright. Improves the reload time for all weapons. Okay. Reduces instant cost for blending in. Further improves 47's ability to blend in and will punish instinct. Blah, blah, blah. Instinct for shot. Further reduces the instinct cost of tagging targets for point shooting. Increased damage endurance. Alright. the end of it, I only got a shadow. I don't really know how all this is supposed to work. I'm pretty sure if I didn't go uh, murdering out back of the convenience store, my score would be different, but then again, I don't think anything was getting counted right then. I can go over the footage or whatever and double check, but I don't feel like there was a score being kept at that moment, because I emptied it. My shot got on somebody. <laughs> Yeah, everything kind of just kept rolling without any numbers on the screen, so... Anyway. Yeah, that's an episode, y'all. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me and watching another episode of Oni Camo Gaming and uh, Hitman Absolution. Y'all be safe. Have a good night. I'm gonna go chill out. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the content, then please, you know, do all the stuff that the YouTube beggars beg you to do when you watch their YouTube videos. If you didn't like the content, then, you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you do want to watch. Uh, tell me what you're into, and maybe we can meet someone in the middle. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to put up some videos, try to be somewhat successful, and, you know, if I could spend more time doing this and less time, you know, working for people who don't appreciate me, then that'd be cool too. So, take it easy.